It's the quality of one's conviction that determines success and not the number of followers. This is what I learned through photography. And photography through a series of events. Good evening everybody, my name is Dikshit Mundra. I'm a travel photographer and a traveler and also the co-founder of an Instagram community which goes by the name Streets of India. Now, as a travel photographer, I get asked a couple of questions. Uh, but the most common ones are, why and how? Why photography and now that you have chosen it, how did you do it? Now sometimes I answer them all these sort of questions, uh, but you know, uh, there are times when you, with all the traveling, you're just too tired and you end up saying, you know what, vela beta tha yaar, padne mein man nahi lagta tha, to kar liya, aur koi option bhi nahi tha. But that's not what is going to happen today, of course. I'll start with the why. Now as a child, uh, my dad used to have this Sunday ritual, where he would take me and my brother and sister, out some place we will be playing in mud or be at the beach in a garden in parking lot yeah, or even pooping but he would still remember to carry his camera that was his Sunday ritual to just photograph us and do nothing else later that night he would spend time in his dark room creating those photographs and later sharing those photographs with our relatives it got me to a question like you know a curiosity uh, why What's the joy? Why are you doing it? What are you, as a photographer, getting out of it? It is us who are being photographed. It is our picture, which is being shown in front of our relatives, you know, naked ones like here. What are you getting out of it? So, I, I used to have this curiosity for my dad. Like, I always wanted to ask him this question, but I couldn't. And with the time, it just got delayed and delayed and delayed until one day, one fine day, uh, I was uh, uh, getting shifted up for my graduation. I was getting shifted to Bangalore. And on that flight, I get to ask my dad this question. That, uh, dad, you, do you remember that time when you used to just take our photographs and then develop it and share it with our friends and family and everyone used to make just fun of me? Why were you doing that? So, now here's the thing about my dad. Huh? Uh, he has a very poetic way of making things understandable to us. He will not give us the answer, but rather a medium to maybe search for that answer or maybe find it ourselves. Basically, he's lazy. So, that's what he tell, told me. Uh, you'll get your answer, don't worry. And I was like, fine, okay. Seven days after that, my dad is finally leaving. I'm shifted in Bangalore. He gives me this box. And I open it up, out of excitement, of course. And I find a camera in that, or rather a point and shoot. Many photographers out here must be knowing that. So I asked my dad, uh, what is this? You asked me, and he said, and I quote, I can't give you an answer. I can give you this. You'll have to find it yourself. And I said, that's very poetic, dad, but I still don't understand it. <laughs> Why? To which he said nothing and he left. That's true. Two years, for the next two years, that camera was eating dust in my cupboard. I used to be the one who would take that camera out in broad daylight. I would just take it like this and take a selfie like, yeah, that was me. I did nothing, absolutely nothing. Just in broad daylight, I used to just flash out things. Uh, don't know how to take photographs. I was just. Oh, whatever, I, I see a plant and I take a photo. I, I never got into technicalities. Until this one day, I came across two TED Talks by Franz Lanting. Do you guys know him? You must be knowing him after this talk. Uh, so I came across these two TED Talks by Franz Lanting in which he is speaking about one animal kingdom. And the second, excuse me, and the second was about life project in which he gave 16 years in order to explain how earth was formed through the photographs of present world that moved me that actually moved me how can someone be so genius be so aesthetically a storyteller and explain without saying a word just through photographs 
that later on got me into thinking, you know what, I have a camera as well. It's eating, it's almost doing nothing. Maybe I should do something with it. And every student and wannabe photographer, I just went up to YouTube and I typed in Photography 101, enter. And few results came in. Before I could know it, it became a hobby, not, not a hobby, but rather a schedule, a something that I would do every night before going to bed. I would watch at least a one or two or three tutorials before I could know it. My recommendation page on YouTube was filled with, you know, the technicalities of a camera, camera reviews, how to take a certain kind of photograph, how to do this and that and almost everything. So basically, every day what I was watching was anything and everything related to photography and nothing else. Now, fast forward to Mumbai. I, I completed my, somehow I completed my graduation with the grace of my faculty and I got shifted to Mumbai for my master's in finance. So by the way, I'm an MBA in finance. But yeah, shocker. So, uh, I shifted to Mumbai and uh, now an opportunity came my way. Uh, my college was holding this photo contest uh, wherein you have to go out for 10 days wherein each day you will be giving a new project, new, like a new topic and you have to take a certain photo and submit it by the end of the day. Now as most of us students would do, I was just doing it to get that 10 days attendance because the, the, the students out here would understand. I mean 90% attendance. So. Here's my request to the faculty members present here. Cut them some slack. It's, uh, I mean, so, so I, I, I just did that to gain that 10 days free attendance where I would go out and I, I did watch two or three movies in that time. Yeah, I was happy again. So now came the results part. Okay, and I'm sitting in back in the podium and uh, uh, so they are announcing these runner-ups, okay, uh, like, yeah, yeah, so-and-so came with this and that. And suddenly, they announced my name. And I'm like, yeah. It was not until my friend in the back, Karthik, he kicked me in the back and he said, dude, they are calling your name. I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> what? Really? Trust me, honestly, I did not believe I came third. I did not believe it. I came third in that photo contest. I was not even having a DSLR. I borrowed it from my friend because I was having a point and shoot. And all thanks to that stupid friend, he gave me his DSLR and I participated in that contest and I came third and won a camera, a DSLR. That was the first day I cried on stage. I genuinely, I burst out in tears and I couldn't believe it myself. Between all this, uh, uh, between all this learning from YouTube, from taking your first photograph to winning a contest, I could finally understand why my dad was loving it. He was not loving photography, he was loving the process of, you know, making a photograph and showing it to people. And that appreciation, that, that moment that you have just captured and you are showing it to people and they are able to understand that moment and that capture. And you could imagine the happiness on my dad's face when I told him that I want a camera. He actually officially considered me his son that day. I was like, yeah, now you're my son. So that was my dad. Okay, now we come to the how, the part of how. I have won a camera and all that, and that's done. Now, as I said, I got shifted to Mumbai for my masters. Uh, so, Mumbai was pretty high on Instagram at those days. Everybody was having photo walks and, you know, uh, these uh, uh, small community gathering wherein different kind of photographers would come in, share their experience, basically judge each other, to be honest. So, I was a fresh meet both in Instagram and on, uh, uh, both in Mumbai and on Instagram. Now, I used to be a kind of like a shy person, so I used to attend these photo walks, but I, would rather, I, I, I wouldn't speak to anybody. I would just stay in the back, observe, take my two, three photographs and just leave home. Uh, it was one fine day when I met 
one of the most important person of my life. His name is Rufus. You guys might be knowing him uh, by the name Ramu Kaka. I'm pretty sure. So I met him and after that what continued was we used to go out, explore Mumbai on our own. I mean uh, after college I would just hang out with him. We go out, explore places in and around Mumbai and somehow before I could know it we started growing this out community called Streets of India. Something we did not even take seriously. It was growing at an exponential rate. We were being called, we were being recognized by the name of Streets of India. And we was like, yeah. It was growing at an exponential rate. And we, we, we were not able to recognize why. What is it happening? Because I was busy with my academics and Rufus was busy with his job. We were not able to understand, okay, what are we going to do with this? Now, so we converted the entire process into photo trips. And we made our first photo trip in the year 2015, uh, which was like two years back. Uh, and we went to Agra with 16 travelers. And that was two years ago. Till now, in these two years, we have made around more than 30 trips pan India and have plans to going international now and I trust me honestly I, I, I still don't believe it that we were able to crack this out. See the problem here is the major problem that I as a travel photographer and as a content creator and influencer on social media faces we all especially the students we all just see the glam and the glory of the social media life, the influencer, oh man, he's traveling, he's having the best time of his life, I should do that. Brother, you travel, that's, that's so good, I wish I could do something like you. We all fail, we all just see the glam and the glory and, you know, the, the best part of traveling. But trust me, there have been times when I've genuinely thought of leaving this leaving the, the photography, leaving the travel business and everything and just going back to the 9 to 5 corporate job or my family business because that seemed more comfortable. Because there have been such incidents. But I'm glad I never took that. I'm glad I never took that leap. I rather followed my passion and I followed it blindly. Of course it was hard. For the f very first year I was not able to even earn anything. It was just because of the grace of my dad I was able to do something. But I'm glad I never took that leap. I am actually quite thankful to my dad and a few other people that they made me stick to it. And now since this is a TED talk and we ought to learn something out of it, so here's something for you. You see perfection is not easy. It is rather hard to fall in love with. Imperfection, uh, the difference is imperfection, on the contrary, uh, has its wide reach. Imperfection has the ability beyond, has the limitless ability beyond one's reach. Create your own how before you can ask why. Create your own how before you can ask why to anybody. And travel so much so that you start to belong to each place a little more rather than belonging to your own place a little less. Be the citizen of this world rather than being just a citizen of your own town. The story which started and which started in my bedroom watching a TED talk has finally after two years got me onto this platform to share this experience with you of my story, how I got into photography. And I hope that I was able to ignite that spark, maybe, you know, just give you that push to not just photography, but to actually believe in something that you are good at, you excel at. It's not just about academics. It's not just, it's not just about, uh, you know, scoring marks, but yeah, hey, come on, education is important. Finish that and then side by side, yeah, along the way, you can continue what you're doing because we all have love. It's not just education. We all have love for everything and anything else. I am humbled, I am thankful, and I am grateful for this gesture that you guys have bestowed upon me of coming here, something that started from a TED talk, come here, speak on the TED.
thank you so much guys that's my story i hope and 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 on the ending note i wasn't able to do this because of the few members this is not just me so there have been people who have helped me all through this way my entire team rufus ajinkya kartik roshni vishi vikas lamba and my brother rohit they made streets of india and they made me and i'm thankful and yeah i am thankful so that's my story guys thank you so much i hope i was able to